So it's been about two months since I've had a chance to work on the airboat. And that's just because it's been summer. I've been busy with work, busy with other things. So the airboat got put on the uh, back burner. Anyway, uh, back at it now. So what I've been working on is setting up the uh, all the support for the rudders. In the comments before, a couple guys mentioned that the hoop here needed more support. Part of that was uh, I was planning on doing anyway with the rudders, so I have added some more supports in there, trying to get that resonance out of it. I think it will be, well, it's quite a bit more rigid now. I put some more supports on the front as well. As you can see, the rudders, I've been doing some body work on them. They're ready for primer soon, that'll be the next step. And then it'll be working on the linkage to uh, for the steering mechanism. So anyway, that's what's been happening. I'll uh, recap with a bit of video. This is one of the rudders that I made previously. Uh, there's still a bit of work to do to finish it off. But with these rudders, there's a tubing that goes down the middle. That's the, at the pivot point. And I'm using this stainless rod. I'm gonna make a bushing out of Delrin that will center this uh, stainless rod inside the tubing. And that's how the rudder will pivot. To make the bushings that the rod and the rudder is gonna go through, um, I have this Delrin, so it's one and seven eighth uh, diameter Delrin. I'm going to cut it into pieces and then put it on this old lathe and uh, turn it down. So basically, it'll be a bushing that goes into the rudder, um, and then the rod will go into the bushing. I've never worked with Delrin before, but uh, I'm kind of surprised how much work that was to cut it. That's a ceramic blade in there, and you know, I use it to cut through steel and aluminum. And for plastic, it put up a bit of a fight. I turned five of these on the lathe, and the lathe worked pretty good. This uh, Delrin is actually really nice to machine. It's, um, you know, it's it cuts well with the tool, but it's also hard enough that it doesn't get all gummy like nylon would. So, anyway, these are the bushings. I made five just uh, as basically to because I expected I would screw one up, and actually I'm not super thrilled with this one. Um, the hole is off center. Um, and they're not perfect actually on most of them, but that's okay. I'll, I'll index them symmetrically, so a bit off center will be fine. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now, these are going to be a pretty um, tight press fit into the rudder, and then the uh, the rod will go through there. It'll also be fairly tight into there, but the rod, of course, will move on the rod ends.
Okay, well, that is definitely not coming out. That is pretty rock solid in there. Three more to go. So coming up next, I'll be working on connecting the rudders, the steering mechanism, the cable for the steering linkage, and uh, getting it fully functional. Thanks for watching.